Hi, Fofamid here. And today we're gonna to be talking about hand tracking that you can get right now for a reasonable price that is high fidelity and you can use it in some of the most popular VTubing applications that you can get today. One of the most common questions that I get about on my YouTube channel is hand tracking and what kind of hand tracking can you get? What are the prices and what are what should I expect? So the kind of hand tracking that we're gonna be talking about is the kind of tracking that tracks your whole hand and your fingers. The tracker that I'm talking about is a very simple tracker that you can either put on your desk, mount to your monitor or mount to your body. And it is called the Leap Motion. The Leap Motion controller you can typically buy anywhere from 100 to $150 on Amazon in the United States. And prices might vary, but should float around there depending on where you are in the world. Before you go out and buy one, Amazon affiliate links in the description, by the way. First question is, am I using Leap Motion right now? No, but I do use Leap Motion tracking quite regularly on my Twitch stream, which you will see a little clip of right here in the bottom corner. Just know that when you're using a leap motion controller, it only has two points of tracking. Since it doesn't have any other information about where your where your arm or your wrists are located, you're going to kind of get this weird floaty movement out of the hands. However, it is high fidelity enough that you can accurately track all of your hand gestures within its field of view. If you were thinking about buying a leap motion, there's two things that you're going to have to consider. One, how are you going to mount it to your body? So here in this picture below, I'll also make sure I have an Amazon affiliate link to help support me for what I use for a neck mount or what other people use for mounting it to your body can be with a little bit of modification that you're seeing on the screen right now. And then secondly is you need to make sure that you also have a high bandwidth USB 3 port available. Sometimes if you're using an extension cable or a hub that isn't high enough quality, it can run into some issues. But basically, if you plug in your Elite Motion and you get the three red dots and the lights and the tracking lights are on, then everything should be good to go. There are two very popular applications that you can use with the Elite Motion, one of them being Luppet and the other one being VC Face. Now, if you want to see how you can set up the Elite Motion controller with VC face, you can actually check out my VC face walkthrough guide where I actually go through the entire process of plugging in the leap motion and setting it up in that video. In terms of what else is available for hand tracking, there's basically nothing else in this price range. There is some applications that support webcam hand tracking. So that means it will track your head and your hands. However, the quality of the hand tracking in terms of hand gesture and how well the fingers move will not be as good. If you wanna see a walkthrough on one of those applications, I'll have a link to it right here. It's called V Magic Mirror. The, in, in terms of anything else that you can get in terms of quality, in terms of how it tracks, there's basically two ways you can go. You can get VR tracking, which if you already own a VR headset, you can use something like a Valve Index to get pretty decent hand tracking. The downside with the Valve Index tracking is that you don't get full finger movement as well as you don't get finger splay. So you can't move your fingers apart and that you actually have to hold something physically in your hands. If you don't have VR, this actually can be quite an expensive add on as VR headsets can any, range from anywhere from 300 up to $1,000 or even more. The upsides though, is that most often VR tracking is plug and play with most applications like virtual motion capture, which I also covered in this video. If VR tracking is not what you're exactly looking for, or you don't want to hold something in your hands, or you want to have better quality finger tracking, you could do something like motion capture gloves. So like the gloves that I'm using right now, these are the Rokoko Smart Gloves, and I've tried a number of mocap gloves before. And honestly, these are one of the best gloves that I think you can get for the price even though they're slightly over a thousand dollars. As a side note, I am sponsored by Rokoko, but I am allowed to say basically whatever I want. When I do my full Rokoko video, expect to see a discount code when that happens where you can get 10% off. That's basically hand tracking for you. If you'd like to see me deep dive in any of the other tracking methods for your hands that I've talked about, please let me know in the comments down below. I also have a Reddit that I just started where I'm gonna be looking at an AMA for a future video, or you can join our Discord community or pop in my stream and you can ask me a question live. Also, I would like to say, hey, patrons, thank you so much. If it wasn't for your support, I wouldn't be able to do videos like this. So really, really thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.